Hey, what's up guys? Pase Boro here. This is the third game that we have for today. October 27, 2024. An Eastern Conference battle between the Milwaukee Bucks and Brooklyn Nets. And that one will happen at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 6 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. By the way, the spread that is given is minus 8.5, and that's given towards Milwaukee Bucks. For those who are interested to avail our premium picks or best picks, you can also reach us through Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, or even Messenger account. Just take a look at the descriptions of our videos, and you will see the details right there. Right, so the Brooklyn Nets, they would have the home court advantage on this. Um, in terms of momentum, well, both teams are coming off losses. But for, Mil for Milwaukee Bucks, at least they already have uh, one win. Um, so I got to say that um, somehow Milwaukee Bucks have some sort of momentum approaching this game as compared to Brooklyn Nets, uh, who are currently at zero wins and two losses. So a slight of an advantage in terms of momentum towards Milwaukee Bucks. Now, in terms of um, health, Milwaukee Bucks, they would have Chris Middleton still out. And uh, they have um, uh, Yanis <coughs> and Green listed as probable, so highly likely they will be playing on this game. Um, as compared to Brooklyn Nets, who got three games out for them. Um, is that right? Uh, three, that's correct. That's uh, Trenton Watford, Boyan Bogdanovich, and Dayron Sharp. So, again, three players confirmed out for Brooklyn Nets. So obviously, it'll be Milwaukee Bucks who got the advantage in terms of health. All right, so I'm going to make this one quick. Obviously, Milwaukee Bucks, they are the better team. Uh, Brooklyn Nets, lot of, you know, lots, of, uh, lots, of, um, lots of people are actually looking at them as the tanking team, you know, trying, to, you know, trying to rebuild for the future, etc., etc. Um, minus 8.5 is something that some people might actually uh, be concerned about. Um, if you know if they would want to put money on Milwaukee Bucks after the Bucks lost to Chicago Bulls the last time out via double digits, right? Was it double digits? But yeah, everyone expected Milwaukee to win that game, right? But they lost again against Chicago Bulls. So lots of people are actually concerned about it, um, and uh, that that is a valid point. You know that is a valid point. But for me, that is actually um, the reason as to why I'm I'm siding with Milwaukee Bucks. I'm expecting a huge bounce back game, um, which is on this game. It just so happened that they would go up against Brooklyn Nets. The Brooklyn Nets, ever since last season, they don't have any problems in terms of offense. You know they have lots of people who can score, especially right now with Thomas. You know shooting sh shooting those outside shots like you know he's shooting layups. Um, he's, and he's got some supported shooter, etc., etc. So offense, that ain't a problem for Brooklyn Nets. But the main problem for Brooklyn Nets in here will be their defense, especially for Yanis. I know Brooklyn has like a couple of bigs who can actually uh, make life a bit harder for Yanis, but expect Milwaukee Bucks' superiority over both offense and defense show in this game. Brooklyn Nets will for sure, uh, you know, uh, show up and, you know, uh, try to, you know, tr try to fight for it, especially they're playing against, uh, in, I mean, especially they're playing in front of their crowd, but expect Milwaukee Bucks to win. Not only that, um, to win in a fashion that would allow them to cover the spread. I'm not going to be surprised if this one would be a double-digit win. Our pick would be Bucks minus 8.5. Again, that's Milwaukee minus 8.5. Peace out, pase love, and God bless.